Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Oracle of Ages with SC Knuckles. The Exodus has returned, folks. And I am back. We will go through the Mermaid's Cave now. That is sweet, the Mermaid's Cave. The Mermaid's Cave, yes. A very unique one, you will see how later. Let's bomb this wall, shall we? Because Link it. likes destructible stuff. Oh god, whiz ropes. <laughs> You know what I liked about the Wizrobes in Wind Waker? What? Their death scream. Yeah, it sounds like they're saying, like, "Fuck." No, oh, they just make a high-pitched scream. I would perform it, but I think I've done it, like, too many times. I think cool points will exit from me. Oh, my God. That got friggin' candles. I don't care if it's your birthday. Oh, man, so I'm back for another video. How have you been, man? All's well, trying to get this whole project done. My, yeah. my last guest uh, was someone I had to bring back, because the original fifth dungeon guest could not return. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Skype issues prevented him. <laughs> I got gotcha. you, yeah. I understand that. The show must go on. The show must go on for S.J. Knuckles. <laughs> okay, light the torches. We up. The one behind it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, open the the plane. You can bounce seeds off of this. That's the seed. It's the ranged weapon of this. And why is there dark water? We can go in here, but in here we can't. Oh my god. Well, can't go this way. So, is there anything over here? Oh wait, got a new, got a new set of rings. The Zora. Zora ring. I can go underwater and stay underwater as long as I want to. Oh, very nice. And, uh, I don't have a boomerang in this one. So I can't get rid of those anti-fairies. There is no boomerang in this game? For some reason, there is. But in a linked version, I don't think so. That's weird. I've shown it off. I tried myself trying to get it in one of the minigames on here. It uh, doesn't show. Hmm. I pro is it is it replaced with something, though? Like, on a link game, or...? No. Uh, in a, in an if you play this game first, unlinking, and it does show up. That's weird. It is weird. I'm thinking, oh man, you can't get the boomerang, so you're gonna have to go through this with luck. <laughs> well, I can handle strength. I got the level 3 sword, which is the master sword in this case. Gotcha. I got linked game, and I also got bigger on sword. Shit. However, it's useless in this game. As it does it really? the same amount of damage as the Master Sword. So why oh, wow. use it when you got the Master Sword? Yeah, no, it's useless. Of course, if you want a bigger attack radius, then buy all. Is it? I, How much bigger, like, would you say? Oh, damn. Oh, my god. It does half a circle, while the Master Sword does a quarter of a circle. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Alright, I got it. A little geometry lesson. <laughs> And the compass. Right. And there's actually one unique thing about this dungeon. There's something you will get to see in this that no other guest has. Shit. You'll, yeah. you'll see when we get to it. All right. Yes. Exodus magic. <laughs> Ages yeah. with swords. How is that possible? <laughs> Whose birthday is it? We have more candles. Nice. Mine's not until February. Yeah, mine's in January. Well, mine's the day before Doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to get happy one day and get pissed off the next. You gotta really enjoy that birthday. Yeah, I do. Enjoy it with all means. Getting stuff. That's how I get gifts all the days. My birthday and Christmas. And there's something in here. Very nice. Key! Actually, the compass. I love the sound the compass makes when there's a key in the room. Yeah. That thing that debuted in Link's Awakening. Hi, Bubbles. Which was a very good game. Hi, Bubbles. Bye, Bubbles. You guys are annoying. Oh, whiz ropes. Black mages from Final Fantasy. And I've never actually played a Final Fantasy game, to be honest. Really? I'm not interested in RPGs, to be honest. The only one I have played to this day is uh, Skyrim. 
Oh, I fucking love Skyrim. And, uh, Borderlands, if you count that. Oh, I think technically that is an RPG. Which got the definitely an RPG. With guns. I love guns. If you like Skyrim, Fallout is basically Skyrim with guns. Hmm. Some people try to tell me to get into that. But, uh, I don't... No. Just a... No, I prefer... I prefer Skyrim. Yeah, I prefer that, too. That was a birthday gift I got, too. <laughs> hmm. Aha! Fake wall. Alright! Okay, and, uh... Um, there's dark water there. There's a key. We can't go anywhere. Fuck. Well, um... Guess we just leave. Well, they don't give me any keys, and they don't give me anything to get through! What the hell's wrong with this dungeon? Yeah, really, that's crazy. It sucks. That sucks. Not really, folks. What Exodus don't know is a big surprise. <laughs> I'm not worried. I got Knuckles here with me. Yeah, I'll guide you through this place. Even if you do this game. Oh yeah, if I if I do this game, you're gonna have to guest host. Well, if I would recommend, if I would re request something, do like what I'm doing. Only do seasons first. <laughs> Do seasons first? Do seasons, ages, ages, and seasons, <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> well, um, I guess we just leave this dungeon. Let's go outside for a moment. <laughs> and since this is time-traveling game, let's head to the present, shall we? Oh, nice. Loving the water. Loving it. Off to the present. See what it looks like in the present. It is a fucking swampland. Let me see. Did I kill enough enemies? No, I didn't. Okay. And wait, there's a dungeon entrance here too. <laughs> here we are in the mermaid's cave in the present. Shit. Yes, this is one unique dungeon. There is a past and a present version. That's insane. And you have to go to both. That's really. That's actually really cool. Yep, I don't think there's anything been like this before. And I don't think you can count the Spirit Temple as one. Nah, the dungeon was first. the dungeon is the same. Here. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, the dungeon does remain the same, it's just different time, that's it. It's same layout, same all this. This is why I like this dungeon based on layout and design. Switch hook, similar to the hookshot. <laughs> it's the hookshot variant of this game. <laughs> gotcha. And not long enough. Which is why I wonder switch. why it's level one. <laughs> is there another level? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I have to see which dungeon we get that in. <laughs> okay, let's go up here. Oh, God, holes. Let's get our seed shooter out. Yoink. <laughs> I made the floor magically appear. That seed shoot is really cool. Eight directions. <laughs> okay, now, how are we gonna kill those snakes? Well, let's use the scent seeds by themselves. Hey, snakes, you hungry? Oh my god, that's insane. Snakes, suicide's not the answer. That is fucking crazy. I didn't even know you could... That... Wow. Well, you've never... That's you've cool. never played the Oracle games, I... No, but I, I... If you... If you asked me to guess how to kill them, I would have never, ever guessed <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Uh, some of these seeds are very unique. Now let's go, uh... This way. <laughs> <laughs> My missing is fun to see. Oh, God. Go away. No, no, no. <sighs> That would have sucked. And there's also some things we had to do in the past first. This hole, it wouldn't have been yeah. open. Oh, and we and can't, couldn't have bombed it? We couldn't have bombed it either. Shit. Nice unique puzzles there, Capcom. Game with Capcom. Now make good games, just stop canceling them now. Especially Mega Man. <laughs> especially Mega Man. Yeah, really. That's why I argued with one of my last guests. Why y'all canceling Mega Man games? 
I, I listen. I love Mega Man, so. Hey, hey I'm I the X series as well. I just started playing it, and I think I screwed up this puzzle. I have to do the blue one last. <laughs> yeah, the X series. Uh, I'm into right now. Uh, it's it's great, honestly. Which one are you up to? Well, me and my uh, friend are doing a race with it. Which one? We. The, the first one. We did the first one, and uh, we're, we're going. We did. We just did the third one, and right now we're going to the fourth, which is his absolute favorite. He's waiting to kick my ass in that one. Four is very good. I, four is a very enjoyable game. I really like four. I think four is good too, especially because my friend he uh, loves playing as zero. Oh yeah, a lot of people. I still my favorite still Mega Man. <laughs> love Mega Man. Gotta love X. Yeah, he's the fucking best. And for that race, it's gonna be Mega Man versus Zero. Well, he's gonna have a very big advantage. Yeah, I know. Um, he doesn't have to get armor. <laughs> not, not just that. The uh, the levels Zero can blaze through the levels because uh, the, you know the Z Saber. It's it's easier to to hack and slash. But then again, the bosses are easier to us. Yeah, true. He's been... But you do have one extra boss, though. X fights one extra boss in that game, too. Yeah, that, uh, what, what was that guy's name? The Colonel. Yeah, yeah him. He, uh, he'll have that benefit. He might actually win for the first time, since I've beaten him in 1, 2, and 3. Oh, wow. A, nice. uh, a slip margin. He almost won in 1. Wheel Gator screwed him in X2. Ha! And Blizzard Buffalo screwed him in 3. <laughs> so he could have won if a fail didn't happen for me. What happened? I was playing on the collection and I accidentally hit the buttons to go back to the beginning. Oh, wow. Because I was trying to get everything, like you can get Zero's saber in there. Yeah. I uh, tried to use Zero to go fight against that one mini boss and I accidentally hit all the buttons and went back to the main menu. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he was like, oh, I'll wait till you get back to the where you were. And thus I won. And there is like funny moments in this race, I tell you. And it's recorded? Yeah, split screen. He uh, used the uh, X split to record them. Oh, cool. Yeah, and uh, there's like funny moments in there. Him screaming. <laughs> he screamed when I got the Shuriken for the first on the first try of X2. Awesome. And I was like, uh, first try. And then a giant scream comes out of him. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, for X4, 5, and 6, it's gonna be 0 versus X. Yeah, they're... oh, man. They're... They, they're really good games. Uh, then there's X7 and X8. X7. Worst voice acting. And who could forget one thing from X7? Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! No, <laughs> flame, Hyanard! I fucking hate him. Okay, uh, let's see, who's in here? Oh, you remember this guy? Oh, yes! My arm's back! Son of a bitch. I think it's time to give him the red ring of death. Wow. That's insane. And he is defeated once and for all. Goodbye, dumbass. Okay, Link, we get it. He's dead. <laughs> Okay, uh, the dungeon treasure's in here now. Now I have to time a bomb to hit those things. Of course, one thing I like in X7 from one boss that isn't annoying... Triangle Kick! <laughs> okay, time it. Damn it. Oh boy. Damn it. Damn it! Almost! Damn it! <laughs> oh man, we're almost there. Come on, we got this. <sighs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Humiliation. Thank you! There we go. And then here's the dungeon treasure, the mermaid suit. What the fuck? Now we can go in deep water. Oh shit! Yep. Now I can swim. Really fucking cool. I do have the map, yep. Which does look like a mermaid. Go figure. Yeah, there you go. However, in the present, it's formed together. But in the past, that looks different. The head and the tail aren't connected. Oh. Oh, 
little. What, those those rooms are missing or something? No, they're on the bottom floor. Ah. Uh. Apparently, I got my history messed up when the first playthrough of this. I said, I guess uh, they must have fell down in the present. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait a minute, this is the past I'm talking about. <laughs> so, do you have to go back to the past now? Yes, we do. <laughs> but first, there's awesome. something we can get here. Something we have to get in the present first. And, oh god, big trap. Uh, ah. Oh god, don't kick it. <laughs> Bats! Bats! Go away. Thank you. And, uh, oh yeah, remember that wall we got out of the room before? Yeah. Wouldn't have been open here if we didn't get it. Uh, so we would have had to open that wall as well. Okay, switch hook. Get out of my way, you water spider. Are those called tactites on the water? I think so, yeah. I thought they had some unique name to them. Compass! I can't find my keys, I need a compass. Imagine that in real life. That'd be great. I can't find my car keys. Where are they? Do you have a compass on you? Yeah. Walk into this room. Oh, they're in here. Yeah. Listen for the whistle. Listen for the noise that it makes. Technology, we need it. We need this. Exactly. Although it might not be out till 2030. <laughs> then again, I don't know. I almost got squished there. Oh, whiz ropes. At least they're easier here than in Zelda 1. Oh, please. Which I do plan to do a playthrough of. Oh, are you gonna do one? Both quests. Very nice. And all I can say is, expect the words of doom. <laughs> Cause I am no good on that. And in there was just ten rupees and you fucking BEMOS! Must you shoot me? Yeah, you should, a-hole. I guess I got more into the 8-bit games because of a mod called a Zelda Classic. What's that? People make their own quests with the 8-bit engine. Oh, really? Yeah, I've seen some custom games. Okay, remember this from the ancient cave or ancient ruins? Which, which is correct. Oh, uh, is it random? Yep. Uh, left. Nope, snakes! Son of a bitch! Snakes again! <laughs> Come here, Yoshi Snake. Alright, right, so it's random, right? Yeah. Alright, left. Alright! I'm scared of you now. It took me eight tries in the first playthrough. <laughs> and then here's the boss key. But, where's the boss? Yeah, the He's in the past! Ah, oh, shit. Apparently the dungeon treasure and the boss key went to the present, but the boss himself, and the essence, was left in the past. See how unique this dungeon is? It actually is. It's actually really cool. Jeez. Imagine this in in a 3D one. Oh, that'd be that actually be really cool. I, they should do something like this. I can't say the same for Skyward Sword though. <laughs> I mean, you've seen the entire game, have you? Yeah, yeah. The sand ship level. Yeah. Can't really say that. That's just time shifting. Yeah. It's certain areas and stuff like that, but this it would actually be cool to have to travel through time within the dungeon. I forgot the hard thing about having the mermaid suit. You have to tap the direction you want to go to repeatedly. So you can hear me tapping the thing. Yeah, yeah. That's one of these, these bad things I don't like about it. You don't just get to push a button and swim and you goddamn torches cop no in my health! I'm turning pale here! And that's it for the present. Back to the pit. First, let's see what's in here. And Link's done for me. Yeah, when you dive, you go, oh, that's so fucking cool. I really gotta play this game. And then I get a ring. I'll get it a brazen later. <laughs> and your A item is only used when you're underwater like that. Oh, okay. Okay, who's coming? Oh, hi, Maple. What are you gonna drop for me now? You didn't drop the Dang. heart for me, damn it. She holds a piece of heart. And it, Is it random? Yes. And in the last episode, she dropped it. But I couldn't get it because she's on her U UFO. She's usually on her broom. Fucking maybe. But, uh, yeah, she's upgraded. I'll get that piece of heart from you sometime!
Okay, let's go back to the past. Let's quit complaining. <laughs> let's do it. Back to the past, or should I say, Link, to the past! That was awesome. Playthrough of that coming as well. More details on that off-screen. Okay. God, I love that game. I know you do, and I have a little surprise that I'll ask later on. <laughs> you got it. Okay, let's go this way now. Why could we have this many whiz robes? Well, I guess in Zelda Classic there's uh, annoying ones more there. You have the usual orange and blue ones. Ah. There's ones that fire tornadoes that send you back to the beginning of the dungeon. Some that fire fire around them. Some that summon a lot of bats. Shit. And some that can only be killed with reflected magic. That sounds a little too intense. I've seen some playthroughs of it. And now, underwater. Fucking awesome. And yeah, just like the map. There's the head and the tail. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Pots, are y'all gonna give me hearts? Pot's giving me hearts. I did not know Pot could do that. You do a lot of things. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> PSA. There we go. <laughs> Public service announcement made by Knuckles NXS. We do not approve of drugs. <laughs> okay, oh. And unlike Pits, we have whirlpools to worry about. <laughs> And I'm swimming against the current. <laughs> You're probably tapping the shit out of that button. I know, my thumb hurts. <laughs> Generally, I have a fast tap speed and I fall down. How fast is my tap speed? <laughs> Around 600 taps per minute. God damn! There's a Venna test I've done. You know Mario Party 4? <laughs> yeah. One of the mini games where I think you have to whack a hammer to summon up a lot of womps. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking My about. My cousins and I tried that. He had a turbo controller. He used that against me, and I just tapped mad. He beat me by one. That's insane. So I am really that quick. Yes, folks, Knuckles is quick with his hands. Yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> huh. That's why they call you Knuckles. Maximum Knuckles power of entertainment. My new motto now. Although I do like yours, keep on laughing. <laughs> yeah, it's simple, but it, it gets to the point. It's true. Laughter is the best medicine. It is. It is. I even know it. I almost wanted to become a comedian one time. <laughs> I even told jokes around school time. And people loved it. <laughs> it's awesome, man. That's how I got popular. I didn't get beat up in high school. <laughs> Wish I could say the same for Junior. The worst time of my life. Oh, uh, in Junior High? Mm-hmm. Uh. I had to walk around with an injury just so no one would hit me. Oh my god. Luckily it was a real one. By st what was the injury? By stupidity. <laughs> Playing basketball, went to go after the ball. Someone ran in front of me, got the ball. My thumb hit the wall, 90 degrees. Ooh. Luckily it was the day before my birthday, so they couldn't beat me up. <laughs> Jesus. I had to walk around with a splint. <laughs> but luckily no one could hit me. They would have been like, oh damn, we can't hurt them now. <laughs> Aha, in your case. Can't hurt me now. And I didn't get the head, and I didn't have the name Muffles at the time. <laughs> I only had this name since... Oh, oh, five. Oh, three, actually. When, how did you get the name? I chose the name when I was playing uh, Halo on PC. <laughs> and I was thinking, like, what should I call myself now? I used to be called Shadow. <laughs> oh, okay. Then I was like, uh, I guess SC Knuckles will work. Some people think the SC stands for something. I came up with many different things, and nowadays I'm like, it doesn't stand for anything. <laughs> it's just there. I just chose those letters out of random. And Knuckles, my favorite character. I have an attitude like him if I get mad. Knuckles is a badass. Of course. He's got frickin' spikes on his hands. The only bad thing is he doesn't have fingers, so if I had hands like that, I can't play games anymore. <laughs> yeah, he wears mittens. Mm. 
Okay, before we go into that little key room, let's, uh, let's go swimming. Hell yeah! We haven't been eaten, so we can go in. <laughs> oh, is that really a myth now? I don't know! Saying you swimming well, don't eat for an hour before swimming or something? Yeah, it's like a half an hour, because you might get a cramp or something. I think it's a myth. Some people have proven it. How could fire be underwater? <laughs> That's that Mario logic. I know. It's like he can fire fireballs, but air it works too. Oh, my thumb is hurting. <laughs> I can imagine. That looks painful. It does. Okay. Simple puzzle. Get all the diamond blocks onto the colored squares. Oh, okay. And speaking of Zelda Classic, I'm actually working on my own quest. Oh, really? It's just a slow progress, and I... I'd just love to see someone do a blind playthrough of it. <laughs> Be like, here, try this. See what kind of manipulative mind I have. See how cruel Knuckles is when he's mad. Knuckles could probably be pretty cruel. He can be, but he's not the one to worry about. It's my alter ego you need to worry about. Panic attack. Panic attack? Panic attack. You see him in Call of Duty. When he's doing badass with any gun, he goes 30 and 2. <laughs> Seriously, I used to stream those things. Even, yeah, you were telling me. Even my clan that I'm in would beg me for help. Panic, we need your help! Okay, I'm coming on, you slappies. <laughs> Seriously, I'm usually the best one of the clan. Shit, it's a good thing for me kill. because, well, I need something to be good at and people need my help with. I'd be glad to help when you do this game. Yeah, definitely. It should look like what you did with your Link to the Past, although I don't want to play it. I'll have you play it. Since you had some oh. guy in there with you. Yeah, my brother! Ah. Uh, oh, so I could just guide you through everything. And, uh, yeah, I will show off all the secrets. It's worth it. Most of the secrets are easy. Nah, this game looks really fun. It is fun. Okay. One, two, Kane of Samaria. The only other appearance it makes. The Cane of Samaria. Okay, boss time. Oh, shit. And, uh, it's no one familiar like before. These are all new. It's just okay. ugly looking fish. What the fuck? Okay, he's underwater now. And some people are telling me, is this room. Yeah, I was wondering, because this room I'm in, there's really no entrance to it. And I guess it's the underwater portion of this. I didn't know about that. This is crazy, though. I like how they, they made it so you fight on top and underneath the water. And luckily, with the red ring and the Master Sword, he is defeated. Holy crap, that's fast. Yep. Get the Master Sword and the red ring. You're doing six times damage, brother. <laughs> Holy crap. And here's the sixth essence. The Rift Peak. An essence of time. It is a proud, lonely spirit that remains stalwart even in trying times. And folks, I want to let y'all know, in the first playthrough, I did not show afterwards because I accidentally deleted that part. So I'm going to try and be careful not to delete this. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. Anyway, Dungeon 6 completed again. Oh yeah! Pumped up and done. Pumped! We're fucking pumped! He's more. <laughs> okay, what is it, Maku Tree? There's a woman, right? Yeah. Alright, right. right. Uh -huh. Okay. Link, I have great news. Queen Ambi has just left the... Palace. Now is your chance. This may be your only opportunity to save Nehru. Really? Well, we'll go do that in the next part. And folks, that completes this dungeon. Exodus, man, thank you so much for being a guest in this project. My pleasure. And next time, folks, we will continue on with our quest. Second playthrough of Oracle of Ages. To be continued.